This new feature in Microsoft Teams changes everything, bringing together your Teams and your Chats tabs into one simplified experience, giving the option to organize your chats and channels by custom groups, along with built-in filters for mentions to prioritize your chats and so much more. Pace of work is changing, and this new experience will allow you to work so much more efficiently. So let's nerd out. At the time of recording, you can opt into this feature by selecting the Get Started button when you see this window pop up in the Teams app. Otherwise, it will be made available in future updates of Microsoft Teams. And if you decide that you don't like this new experience, then I will show you how you can adjust your settings to revert back to a more familiar experience in Microsoft Teams. Here we have the two experiences side by side. And in Mike's Teams, we have the Teams tab, which has that familiar Teams and Channels layout. And then we have the Chats tab, which brings together all of your chats where in the new experience, these two tabs are combined to create a simplified chat tab where you can manage your chats and teams in one area. So we have our favorites down here, which is actually just your pinned chats. And then if we expand our teams and channels, then we can see that familiar teams and channels experience. We also have these predefined filters at the top where you can filter for just your chats if you want to narrow down your search or just your channels to focus on your teams and channels. Let's now take a look at some out of the box features to familiarize yourself with this new experience as well as some unique customizations so that you can organize your channels and chats in a way that makes sense to you. Starting at the top, for those of us with a Copilot license, Copilot is still pinned to your chats area for easy access. But one of my favorite features in this new harmonized experience is the mentions filter, which filters all of the chats that you have been specifically mentioned in, which are going to be your priority items within the chats area of Microsoft Teams. Then when we select on any of these unread chats, a new pane opens up, allowing you to respond in rich message. And if we select this little arrow on the top right, then a new chat window opens up, allowing you to respond to your message while navigating to other areas of Microsoft Teams. Then if you decide that you don't want to respond to this message right away, you can select the ellipses and mark it as unread so that it will still be there for you to respond to later. And when we come back later, we can also just use this unread filter to clear out the clutter and focus on only the items that need an action. Moving along, another great feature with this new layout is the ability to organize our chats and channels into custom sections. So let's head up to this drop down carrot and then go new section and we will give our section a name. I will talk about a couple of different ways that we can name our sections in just a moment. Then we can create. We can see our new section has been added here so we can easily drag and drop chats with specific team members into a new section, or we can also drag channels. So another way to move a channel into a section is to select the ellipses and go show in. And then here we can go new section name. See how creating sections that we can organize our chats and channels into different groups. And a couple of different ways that we can organize our content. Of course, this will depend on how your Microsoft Teams is set up and your own personal preference. But one option, for example, let's say you're in the finance team and you have a bunch of different projects here in different teams and each of those teams has a finance channel, then you could create a section called finance and then move all of those finance channels into one section. Another option would be to organize your chats and channels by priority. So for example, this favorites here is defaulted from your pinned chats in the former experience. But if we select the ellipses and then go rename section, then we can call this section high priority. 
so you can organize your high priority clients or your high priority projects or high priority team members into this section. And if you need to remove any of these items, then we can simply go to the channel, select the ellipses, and then go remove from section. And the great thing about these custom sections is that we can simply drag and drop our items to reorder the chats and channels into a custom layout. Or if you select the ellipses, then we can also sort the items by most recent or even by unread only, allowing you to once again focus on those priority items. And once you are finished with a section, then we can simply select the ellipses and then go remove section. Now, I will say that when you are creating these sections, we of course want to utilize this feature. It is such a great way that we can customize the layout to suit our own personal needs. However, we don't want to overcomplicate it. This change in Microsoft Teams sprouted from a simplified approach, so less is definitely more. We also have an option to customize the layout of our Teams and Channels section. So if we select the ellipses, then we can go list options. And right now I'm in the Teams and Channels layout, which is a familiar experience, or we can view just our channels. And then this might be a little bit overwhelming depending on the number of channels that you have. But if we select the ellipses once again, then we have some additional options here and we can sort by most recent. So this will put your higher priority channels at the top, unread only, which will be those top priority ones where you need to read some messages or we can even sort them in alphabetical order. Now, another great feature about this channels layout is the ability to hide inactive channels. Now you'll notice that we can only take this action once within a 24 hour period, and I have already done this within the last 24 hours. So mine is grayed out, but if you can select this button, then a new window will appear with all of your inactive channels that Teams has identified, and then you can toggle them on or off to either show or hide those channels, and this will just tidy up your house and eliminate some of those lower priority channels. Speaking of hidden channels, if there's a channel that you need to locate that has been hidden, and if you know the team that it is in, then we can just navigate back to this previous experience or Teams and Channels layout. Then we can locate the team and go see all channels. And then this will show which are either hidden that you want to show or visible, but you want to hide. We want to show this pet wash channel and we have now made this one visible. If you are not sure which team your channel is in, then that leads us up to this search bar feature, which is super helpful. From this search bar, we can search by name. So either a team member or a group name, which will be the name of a team or a channel. So in my case, I am trying to find a recruitment channel. And here we can see that it is showing up and it is a hidden channel. So I can just select those ellipses and then go show. Similarly, we can search for team members. So if I search for Mike, but say I have a long list of items here that I can use the filters at the top to narrow down the search and only filter for chats. To exit the search bar, we can simply click on this little search icon and then we can see that disappear. And I'll just select these filters to clear those. Now, another way that we can search for teams and channels just in general, or if they are hidden, is we can go up to the ellipses and then go your teams and channels. And this provides a summary of all of your teams and channels. You can select a team and then you will see the status of each of those channels, whether they are visible or hidden, which leads us to some other filters. So if we select this drop down carrot, then there's actually a couple of other options. So we can easily filter for our meeting chats which if we remove that, then this is actually this chat section, which compiles all of your meeting chats. Yours will hopefully be more varied than mine as they're all a meeting with Amy, but this is a great way to keep all of your meeting chats accessible in one area. 
Additionally, we have an option to filter for muted. So at the moment, I haven't muted any conversations, but Mike keeps sending me memes and I'm trying to record this tutorial. So if I select the ellipses, then I can go mute and then I will not be notified about any additional messages from Mike. And if I filter for muted, then we can see that Mike is there with that little icon saying that he has been muted. Now, once I finish this tutorial, then I will select the ellipses and then I will go unmute and I will let Mike know which meme is my favorite. Now, I'm just going to remove these filters. Now, another great feature that I find handy is if this gets a little bit chaotic with everything being expanded and you just want to collapse everything, then we can go up to this ellipses and then we will go collapse all sections and this tidies everything up. Leading us to additional customizations, if we go up to this ellipses and go customize view, then there are some final little tweaks and settings that you can make to really tailor this experience to your own needs. And the one feature that I do want to highlight here this one at the top. So this we are on combined, which is that new combined experience that we've opted into. But if you are not ready to make the switch, then you can toggle back to the separate experience. Here, Microsoft is going to ask for some feedback and I would definitely recommend completing something here. I'm just going to say demo and sending this to Microsoft so that they can take in that feedback and adjust the experience a little better to make sure that everyone is happy. So once we are back in that separate layout, we'll see that we have that Teams tab as well as the Chats tab. But the one thing that I really like about the Teams area is that those new sections have been added. So this is a great way for you to take advantage of some of the new features while still being in the comfort of the old Teams experience. And the great thing about this new layout is that it is also available within the Microsoft Teams mobile app. For more tips on using Microsoft Teams, you can check out my playlist up here, or you can check out this other video suggested by YouTube.